for the second straight day, Binghamton and Cortland State meet up on the softball diamond, but the stakes are even higher the second time around. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us here on another edition of Sports Overtime. Mother's Day, of course, coming up tomorrow, and oh, mama, what a show we have for you tonight. Coming up, it was a garden party as the Knicks return home to take on the Pacers, while the B-Mets try to keep the thunder from rumbling to another win. But we begin tonight with the Colonial's quest for the College World Series. With just one more win, the Binghamton University softball team would go where no other Colonial's team has gone before. A trip to the Division III World Series on the line today as BU took on Cortland State. Second straight meeting between the two clubs. The Colonials won yesterday, so revenge on the side of the Red Dragons. Let's pick this one up top first. Kim Killigrew finding a hole out there in center field. The ball goes in, and Cindy Judice motoring on home. Here she comes, and that made it two-zip Cortland, and then Judice applies a soft little love tap to her teammates. Always oh, nice. Top forwards, Killigrew again, right through the legs this time of Stacy Smith. Danielle Friot scores 5-0 Red Dragons. Their fans liking what they're seeing. Bingo able to get one back in the six. Holly Dalrymple takes Leslie Lance to left. Here comes Molly Lehman, the Binghamton high product, and that would cut the lead to four. But Lance blanked BU the rest of the way. She tossed a five hitter. Cortland wins five to one. So it's do or die, die time for both teams tomorrow. I don't think that very many teams can beat us two days in a row. I think we're too good of a team for that. And you know they are a good team and they're capable of beating us two days in a row. But I just don't. I don't think that. I don't think that we'll let that happen. The defense obviously hurt us the most. I mean, them scoring three runs in the first, and, um, you know, they had two hits, but that was it, you know. So, I mean, we just got to be a little bit mentally tougher and, you know, come back out. Tomorrow's another day and just stay focused. And, of course, that game tomorrow up at SUNY Cortland at 1 o'clock. Michael Barkley is joining us now, and the Binghamton University softball team was looking for a win today. Yeah, this was it, a do-or-die game. You know, the Binghamton University softball team's best chance at reaching its first-ever College World Series was also its last. Next season, the Colonials graduate to the Division II ranks, while all everything pitcher Charlene Cook just graduates. After the championship game of the Northeast Regional was rained out yesterday, Binghamton and Cortland State took the, to the diamond today. You know, it was still raining, but they were able to get this one in. Colonial striking first, third inning. Jamie Peer hustling down the line for an infield single. Molly Lehman scores from second. It made the score one nothing BU. Stayed that way until the sixth. A Vanessa Armano home run ties the score then. It's June Maloney for the Red Dragons. Given Cortland the lead, she finds the hole in center. center. Daniel Friot scores 2-1 to one Cortland. Two batters later, C-State gets some insurance. Waverly grad Tara Schonbacher going down the left field line. That brought home Maloney 3-1 to one Cortland at that point. Leslie Lance would pitch a perfect seventh inning, ending things with the ground out right here. As Cortland State is heading to the World Series, the Red Dragons win it 3-1. to one. While the Colonials see their season come to an end with a record of 28 and 11. Yeah, we played a great game. You know, we came back from a you know a really bad loss on Saturday, and uh, we had a lot of heart in it. And you know, playing sitting for two days is a really tough thing to do, especially with finals coming up. And I think we did a great job. You can't take anything away from Cortland, and you know, I never have. You know, they got good hitters, and you know that that's going to happen. We knew it was going to be a battle from the first pitch on. And, I tell you, this is a dream team. They've had a great year. They, it's just a group that I've, I've never had an opportunity like this, and it's just, it's really, really fun. <laughs> it's hard. Our team has a lot of heart, and that's what it takes to win, and we had it. We really wanted it. 